Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Don't Starve. Still, unfortunately, all on my ronesome because, unlike many YouTubers, Bitlate unfortunately has a real life and has to organise things and go live and you know things that uh, you know, generally we YouTubers try to do without. So let's see, fertilise some of this grass so it will start growing. There we go. Okay, grab some some uh, bunnies from the traps. Kill some wabbits. God, he didn't have a good day, did he? I think what we're going to do today is I would ideally like some more silk. So I'm going to go and go and um, say hello to the spiders. Um, if all uh, uh, if we have time after that, I'm going to uh, go fishing. See if we can use, uh, use up some of that, get some more fish because that stuff is starting to go bad. And oh, so I don't need to carry loads of meat around with me. So let's pop that in there. Right. Okay. Right, this is day 16. Um, so we're going to do 16 to 18 today. And which means the next episode after this will be the start of winter. And that's when it all starts getting fun. And so far I've made no winter items. So it's going to be during this period I should imagine that we're going to make them okay but first off let's make ourselves some traps and we've got one that's what am I lacking? I'm lacking some grass so let's get some grass like that okay that's great now let's make ourselves a trap okay and we'll put some of these down here one just inside the area like that um, one just outside. Come on. There we go. Excellent. Right. So we set that trap there. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Gotcha. Right. Um, spider's nests are actually pretty easy to to loot once you know what you're doing, to be honest with you. I mean, it took me a lot of hit and miss to get this right. But once I got it right, as you can see, it's fairly easy to do. Come on, come on, come at me. There we go. There you go, stop posing. That's, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. Um... Okay, so we've got one bit of silk, which I, I actually wanted lots more, so... Come on! That's all we're getting out here today. That's all we're getting out here today. Okay. Still, we got four spider glands. That's great for healing. And we've got some monster meat, so that's some food. Alright, uh, so today... Let's go and get some fish. Fish. Gonna get dark soon. Winter is just around the corner. So, just make sure we're going the right way. Yes, I am. Am I gonna get back in time? Mm. No, that one's doubtful. But still, I only want one more fish, and I will be quite happy if I just get that much. Yeah, south of here. Where's my fishing rod? There's my fishing rod. Right, let's 
so right, one fish. Uh, let's see if we can do this without getting too many frog legs. One fish, just what the doctor ordered. Okay, and let's see if we can get some stuff in here as well. How are we doing? Our fishing rod doing? Twenty-two. A sextant. And this will, I think, kill our rod off. Two sextants. I suppose they needed to be doubly sure where they were going. Okay, I don't know what I can do with the sextant. I will be interested in looking that up. But still, it's probably a treasure item, which is no use to me whatsoever because I haven't found the pig king yet. So, right, let's dutifully take them back. Uh, we need one more piece of silk to make another fishing rod, but uh, we do have that fish now, which is great for us because that means we can make some more fish sticks, and fish sticks mean a bit better healing. 121 of 150, so I'm not going to use them immediately. Uh, if they start going bad. Oh no! Ah. Seems to be my day for a click on wrong things. Uh, oh well. Okay. Kill. Ah, it's getting dark. Run for the fire. Have you? There we go. Right, just in time. Right, rock. Fruitlize some of this. Oh, would you stop dropping it? Okay, so let's get this stuff fertilized. That'll get us. Uh, and don't eat the rot. There we go. Stop dropping it. There we go. Right, that's a few. That's a few more pieces of grass sorted out. Right, that's. Uh, RBC Crocs pot. Uh, eat ourselves up some meeples. Right, we'll cook the monster meat. And. No, let's not cook the fish actually, let's store the fish. There we go, that'll last a little bit longer. And we'll take a morsel of meat. And a couple of berries. That'll get some meeples going. And we don't need to carry around the sextants. Uh, do I have spider glands anywhere? No, I don't. Okay, so we'll pop the spider glands away. We'll keep the silk, though, I think. Uh, it could be useful. Um, right, they're still drying. We'll make another drying rack. Food. Dry neck, we need rope. Okay. No, I don't want a straw roll. Couple of looks in the right one, really, wouldn't it? Okay, so we want three of those. Right, so two, three, just enough grass, excellent. And that'll allow us to make another drying rack. Won't fit between those, that's nice. I'll just put it there, there we go. And stick a morsel of meat on it. And then we can harvest these. Try this stuff up. It's just going to make, especially in the uh, ice box, this is going to make this meat last forever, which is going to be so useful for us at the end of of winter. Because, in all honesty, we are going to be living off of these uh, uh, this dried meat by the end of winter, I should imagine. Okay, we got some berries grown, so we'll harvest those. Get these 
saplings in as well. Okay, that's a nice bit of food sorted for us. And okay, let's just store what we found. Uh, store that. Oh, I've got some more grass to plant. I didn't notice that. I must have been carrying that around for ages. There we go. Right, we'll get that fertilised later on. How are we doing for time? We've got plenty of time. How are we doing for... Okay, yeah, let's go and say hello to the spiders and see what we can get out of them today. I'm not sure if we're going to get anything, to be honest with you, but we do need stuff from them. If anyone, I don't know if anyone noticed, but the berries on the bushes were looking uh, a little bit weak and sparse compared to the ones you find out in the wild. That is because the berry bushes need periodically re-fertilizing, otherwise they... Hello! Oh, you managed to trip one, did you? Right, let's do this one the hard way. Attack! There you go. Thank you very much. Okay, so we'll put that away. Put that away. There we go. Reset that trap. And let's reset that trap. And it's going to sound some more spiders. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh. Somebody's getting a bit clever, aren't they? So all you can say about me is I put... Oh, there we go. I do have a weapon. All right. One spider, not really a problem. You can pretty much stun lock one spider. Which is probably a good thing, because I'm going to have to do a bit of this now. And you too. Okay, set that one. I think I have those two close together, to be honest with you. But not the end of the world. We've got the backpack put away that so we got some monster meat out of that which is great and we got oh okay a couple more pieces of spider silk which is brilliant that's another fishing rod so I think we'll do yeah let's make that for tomorrow and but tonight now let's head back to to base let's check out our, our bits and pieces here it says yeah I hear well it's not often wrong, I'll say that much. So, more berries. Okay, so that's a, been a really nice harvest out of there. Uh, we've got a bit of time, so let's go and visit some of our traps. Um, if Krampus does turn up at the moment, to be totally honest with you, I'm not particularly fussed about it. I think... We could probably beat him. It would be nice to make a um, a boomerang, to be honest with you. There we go. Uh, and you are our last one. Yeah, you are. Okay. Dogs! Yay! Okay, so... Uh, Alright, okay, so let's get the fire going first. There we go. First thing I want to make is... An apparel. We'll have some rabbit earmuffs. There we go. Okay, and we get over here in survival. Thermal stone. Uh, okay, so we need to unequip that. Then we should be able to make it. 
Right. Thermal stone. Think of, that's what, basically that's what's going to keep us going during the winter. The rabbit earmuffs will uh, keep us warm. We don't need those right now. How's our sanity do? Our sanity is pretty good at the moment. Uh, eat that. Okay, let's make ourselves another meal. One piece of monster meat. One morsel of rabbit meat and a couple of those. Get that cooking. Store up the food. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. No, okay. We're gonna. Need, I think we're gonna need to get some more petals before winter comes. But right now, okay. Right now, let's get ready for a fight, shall we? Come on, come say hello. Hello, doggy, doggy, doggy. Hello, there he is. Let's see if we can get him dead before the other one turns up. Which we did. Ah, uh, marvellous. Okay, and you two. He's a good doggy. He's a good doggy. He's a dead doggy. He was a, he was a dead doggy. Yep, okay, well. That went pretty well. Two dogs, especially in the single player, if you've got decent armour, are not really a problem. Uh, annoyingly, I only got monster meat out of that. I want dog's teeth. There's so much we can do with dog's teeth. But... What we've got is certainly good enough. So, right, so we're pretty much ready for winter now. I, I make a point of carrying a fire with me at all time. And this, the thermal stone when warm, and the, um, let's kill these off. Thermal stone when warm and the rabbit ear moss are going to be enough to keep us going through a lot of the day. Oh, I how much I'd give for a boomerang right now. Let's chase these buggers away. Run away, run away, run away. There we go, All right. Actually, what do we need to make a boomerang? Fine. It won't tell us. Okay, All right, let me do that. Uh, those turkeys are so nice. What about now? Sleep dart, fire dart, blow dart. Boom bang! Okay, so we've got... Alright, we need some charcoal. We've got some charcoal. Let's make ourselves a boomerang. Oh yes, I don't know what the charcoal is. Okay, so we'll restore that. And restore that. Those are still in good condition. Uh, so, boomerang. Okay, we need one plank, and we're okay. So let's get some wood, shall we? Come on, off you go, off you go. Let's chase it far enough away that it's unlikely to come back. Get ourselves some wood. Mm. Yeah, 
that'll do. Right, okay, let's get back, get us have something to eat. Make a boomerang. I don't think we're gonna have enough time this episode to deal with those uh, turkeys, but we'll do a turkey hunt perhaps next time. So that's still I'd say we're we are on a we're a fairly good state to deal with uh, winter now. I'm not saying that we're going to guarantee. I don't know. I'm going to say we're going to guarantee to get through it, but I think we got in a a state where we should do pretty well, and we've got a spare piece of rot, which is not a bad place to be. Okay, so right, harvest you. Eat you. Get this dried meat. Okay, and alright, so we've got plenty of morsels, so let's dry those. Like that. And we'll store the rest. Um, stick a piece of monster meat in there. Okay, we do have more monster meat. Alright, that's brilliant. Okay, so one real meat and a couple of berries that fish is going to have to be eaten tomorrow oh, I suppose it gets to four hit points which is not a bad thing um, store those berries okay and get the fire going all that late. let's make ourselves some boards oh dog tooth hound's tooth brilliant I think I need two but it's been sitting in my inventory and I can imagine you lot have been shouting at me for the last 10 minutes. Okay, weapons! Boomerang! It comes with a land down under! And that's going to be our weapon for dealing things like the turkeys and Krampus and lots of different things. But okay, that's sunset on day 18. So I think I'm going to leave you all there. Um, Next episode will be days 19, 20 and 21, which is important because that, my delicious friends, is the start of winter. Let's just cook that. Put that back, there we go. Uh, actually, let's cook this fish as well. I think they can still go into the crock pot, but if not, it's uh, it's still food, and food is going to become really important over the next 20 days. So let's not waste any of it. There we go. Right, so guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope I haven't bored you too much. And until the next time, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Don't Starve. Thank you, and good night.